Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Julie's Orchids. Uh, for today, I thought we'd have a quick three month follow up on this presumed species Cattleya purpurata. There is some question as to whether it's the species or a primary hybrid. Uh, I bought it, it was tagged as a species. So I'm going with that until it blooms again. Now, when I got the plant, it had a pretty good root system and this growth was starting its new roots. And I thought that was the perfect time to replant uh, the plant. So we did. And I'll put a link to that uh, up in the corner here. Okay, so you know, about three months ago, we repotted this into large pumice. I used my standard water bath technique, like I said, to protect the roots uh, because cattleyas are very notorious for shedding their roots with repots, particularly when you do a media change and not just cattleyas, but species particularly. Uh, so this is why I'm also wondering if this is the primary hybrid versus the species, because I'm happy to say that the root system that I put into this pot three months later is still there. And the new roots that it's grown have grown down into the pot but I'm going to try to get as good a view of this as I possibly can. So I'm going to apologize if the lighting's not the best, but the existing root system that it had branched. So I'm going to try to zoom in on that. Hang tight. Now this curl of roots right through here was some of the original ones that I put into the pot with the plant. What they did not have was these little side branches coming off of them. So this plant did not shed its roots when I put it into pumice. It branched its roots, which I thought was really odd because my experience with cattleyas in the past has been that they just drop their roots at any little disturbance. So I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, so I'll say definitely if you're repotting cattleyas into this pumice, um, use that water bath technique because it does prove to protect the roots, or at least I think this proves it. Um, and Or it could just be that it, this isn't the species, um, but really I've seen even non-species cattleyas with really finicky roots. So super happy with that one. Um, this one is planted up in a mixture of, we've got, you know, I think lava rock down here. I'll put the link in again right here because I don't really remember right off the top of my head. But it's not really consuming any of the old leaves. This is kind of what the plant looked like when we got it. Um, this was the growth that was putting out new roots. And you can see it's got really nice little happy saps come in. It's grown a sheath. It is a blind sheath. I'm sorry, that's my neighbor's dog. All right, sorry about that. The dog, neighbor's dog, they put the dog away. Um, all right, so the new growth, it grew, has grown a blind sheath, but it's just covered in happy sap. This is a really happy plant. Um, so how am I watering this thing? Well, through the winter, I've been letting the water reservoir go completely dry. I can see the roots here. So when I see these roots turning whitish, I, I give it a water. Um, other than that, over the winter time, I was able to water it only every other weekend. I'm curious to see how this coming summer will fare, um, mostly because we have such a dr dramatic shift in humidity levels from our rainy season, which is winter here in Perth, to our we don't get any rain at all summers. So there you have it, guys. A uh, three and a bit month follow-up on Cattleya purpuratus, transition from bark to pumice. Using the water bath technique, this plant was able to maintain its existing root system. Uh, it even branched off that existing root system and the new roots that it grow have dived down deep into that pot. Uh, this plant again, well rooted uh, after only three months, put up a blind sheath. Uh, it did put a, a unifoliate cane out where it looks like it is supposed to be bifoliate. So, I'm really hoping that uh, the next new growth it puts out will be a bloomer for me, but we'll just have to wait and see. We'll give it some time. I'll definitely do a follow-up on it then. I thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. A subscribe would be great. And if you notice, there is a new membership button available. Have a check out, if you wouldn't mind. Again, thank you for watching, and have a lovely day.